Hello beautiful soul, I'm Michaela Jane and welcome to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be talking about energy art, where it is and where I first got the idea from to do it. That was back in 2010, February to be precise. And the idea came when I was setting me soul intentions to be of the highest possible service to help and plant seeds in people's minds to help awaken them to new ways of thinking and feeling that would help them in the greatest, greatest ways possible for the highest and greatest good so that they could move forward in the life with a greater awareness of self, of others and of the universe to help them to really reach the potential in this lifetime. So, he's the first, I kept the pain, so he's the first um, Painting that I did. Actually, you can see her brain on the outside. You can see that she's got a seed planted and it's grown and it's flourishing. And this light is sparking out, illuminating her mind. So that's the new ideas, thoughts, which also affect the feelings. So it's new ideas, new thoughts, and feelings that help and awaken up to higher possibilities in life high possibilities of ourself and high possibilities of anybody else as well. Open up to divine wisdom as well and our intuition because she's got a spark of light on her third eye chakra so that's awakening as well through these new thoughts and feelings. Higher consciousness really. Um, she's also got a spark of light on her throat chakra so as she's receiving this insight and receiving these thoughts and feelings that are helping her she's also speaking them out and helping others with what she's speaking and what she's learning as well so that's that first pain and that was done as you can see the 13th of february 2010. now i did a few paintings um after that and i went quiet for a little bit but then i've come back to it my second painting was <coughs> excuse me the second painting was a divine union pain to help bring in a beautiful relationship for the highest and greatest good, which happened and it was absolutely beautiful. Anyway, so I'll show you some of the other ones as well. This one is mine, um, but you can, I have making prints available for these. There's prints available on my website which is www.heaven, middle dash, because I can't remember what they're called, <laughs> on, middle dash, earth.co. Um, so yeah, they're available to purchase. This one's called Equilibrium. Equilibrium is, was painted to help awaken and activate a third eye chakra fully, bringing in complete balance and harmony and absolute equilibrium to help you awaken, yeah, to awaken the absolute best, highest possibilities for the third eye chakra in this lifetime. Definitely, yeah. Awesome. Right, so that's that one. Just put it down there. This one is also on my website and it's got a lovely poem to go with it if you want to check that out. I'll tell you a little bit, but I can't remember it properly. Basically, this one, sorry, this one's called Fleur. I don't know why you always say it like that. Fleur. <laughs> anyway, this one it was painted um, to help you to connect with the peace within. To really find peace within yourself. And also to know that just like a flower, you're blossoming at the absolute perfect time for you. There's no need to rush or push because everything's unfolding perfectly for you. So that's... Called Fleur and she's got a bit of I mean, see if I do it that way. Metallic gold as well on it. Yeah. Oh, shit. This one is going to be a set. So I've done the first one and it is, uh, I did this because I was working with, well, for the last couple of years, I've been working with the elements earth, air, fire, water, ether. So I decided to do a painting. Well, the first painting of the set 
which is called the Angel of Air. Angel of Air, which is also working with the mental levels of our being. So there's more come for that one, so that's it. Not the things left, right and centre, are you? <laughs> this one is called Heel and Hand. And it's got all of the chakra colours going up. And it is sending out pure healing from the I am, from the purest source light. And it's sending with absolute love. There's a love heart in the centre. And that's just the ripples of radiant energy coming off. The radiant energy swells to help balance and activate all of the chakras and to bring them in complete alignment. That's that one. And also I've got this one here, which is a bit different and I'll tell you the story behind it as well. It's called The Jesus. <laughs> it's a reason for that. <laughs> When I first started off painting this one, I really wanted to do a painting of Eddie Vedder. But as you can see, he turned out looking like Jesus. Now the pure intention behind it was, the reason why I wanted to create a painting of Eddie Vedder was because he's quite, well he's quite in tune with the universe and he's quite awakened. He's awakened, yeah he's awakened definitely, to the universe. Um, I, can easily open up and connect and get in inspiration and bring it out in your songs as well. Anyway, so I wanted to paint this painting to help awaken the divine masculine within, to help open up to the universe, to help open up and awaken to the higher capabilities of the divine masculine as well and the higher qualities, being in tune with um, the higher self, the heart, and the deep compassion within, helping them to awaken the heart and the mind so that they can move forward at the exact right and best rate for them and also have a very healing effect on the earth and also on the divine feminine as well and in their own life. Walking from a space of love, creating with love and also like I said it's to help Balance out the masculine and feminine. New ways of thinking and feeling that are going to help benefit them and the whole. So that was, so yes, anyway, so it turned out looking like Jesus, which I'm not surprised really. <laughs> when it comes to the divine masculine, I'm not surprised it turned out looking like Jesus. So yeah, he's called the Jesus, and he said better there, the Jesus. That's the reason behind it. Yeah. It's also awakening up to the soul and also speaking from the, the place of the soul with compassion for others and for themselves as well. And I said to help them in the best way as possible. Yeah. And I'll show you another one. It's not quite finished yet. This one's me. Well, it's not me, me, as in me, physical me. But it is my divine goddess self, my absolute pure soul source goddess self. Yeah. So, as you can see, on that she's got a crystal staff of this side. It's not quite finished yet, so it's going to have sparks of light. Sorry, I'm moving it around trying to get it angled right. There we go. So, she's holding a staff of light pure light which is a pure power as well so she's standing firm in a pure power here on earth and she's got a fully awakened third eye chakra clear fully awakened to a higher capabilities to a higher mind and a divine intuition at the drop of a hat she's just totally tuned in so it's a, basically it's about me awakening me to my pure divine power here on earth and activating it and standing in my truth, standing in my light and my divine capabilities and sharing that light with the whole as well. Like I said that there she's going to have sparks of rainbow light coming out of the crystal like light rays and it's going to be beautiful when it's finished. Yeah so anyway if you'd like to check out more of me like I said you can go to the website 
Or if you'd like to ask for a commissioned pin, feel free to do so. Just send me an email to Michaela at, I'll, I'll put it down at the bottom of the video as well, but it's Michaela at heaven middle dash on middle dash earth dot co. Right? Anyway, I'm wishing you an absolutely lovely day wherever you are. Bye. Mm.